Up and down the east coast of Australia, they have these jetties which extend out into the ocean, which they use to transport things like coal and sugar out on these big ships to countries around the world. But I'm not here for coal. Today, we're gonna to be fishing around the jetty here, which as you can see, is absolutely loaded with structure, using a few different techniques, from top water to jigging to vibing. We're gonna do it all. I hope you enjoy. Things could get a little bit hectic here. Nothing on the first cast. Don't know why. Oh, yes. Oh, oh. What's going on? Oh, he, no way. He didn't hook up. That was huge, man. How did he not hook up, bro? Oh, he's still on it. Oh. Oh my God, that thing's so big. He's still on it. Oh my God, how is he missing? What? I don't understand how you can miss that. Oh my God, my heart, man. That thing was big, bro. Oh, he followed it all the way out here. How does he smoke it that hard and not like eat it? I don't understand. I've got such bad luck with top water. I don't know. I don't know if it's just my poor angling or what. I'll push this back up a little bit. But essentially, we've got the tide pushing in, and it's pushing into these front pylons here, so that's why I wanted to target here first. Try to get one back in where he, where he came from. Yeah, that's in there. Oh, that sucks, man. That would have been an epic start. We'll keep working along here a little bit. Very scary. Oh yes! Oh no! Has he missed it as well? I think that was a Spanish. Oh, oh my, what is going on? That was a GT. Why don't they hook up, man? I don't understand. Oh. There's a queenie, big queenie. Right here. Look at him. Oh, how's nothing hooking up, man? Something's on it still. Yep. He's trying to go in. No, no, I need to drive backwards. I don't think he's very big, but. Ah. I got him clear now. Finally, something on top water though. Can't see a thing in the sun. It's not carrying on now, so I think it must be a queenie. Unless it's a small GT. He absolutely smoked it though. No. Come up. Sorry, I just saw a shark, but could be wrong. I think it is a GT. Might have just seen another GT following him or something. 
Yeah, I think that's what I saw actually. He's not a bad fish at all. Ooh. actually not too bad. Whew. Hectic. Yeah, it looks like there must have been some friends following the right out of the boat now. There we go. That's a uh, solid GT to start the morning. Can't complain about that. 200 mil stick bait, throwing it up into the pylons and these guys just coming out and smashing it. It's epic. Good fight. Tried to pull me in there but we, we got him out. Can't complain about that to start your morning. <laughs> see. Alright, oh, we'll get him back. I'll get that hook out. It's actually... Ah, it's in there pretty good. Ah, chuck him in over here. Oh. There we go, not a bad start to the morning. I was filming the underwater release and then apparently my GoPro just decides it's overheating even though it's like 7.30 in the morning and it was underwater, so I'm not sure how that works, but as he was kicking off the bloody camera dies, so he swam off strong though, so all good. But we might get back up to the start of that drift, up on the um, start of the pylons there and yeah, see if we can get another one, that was fun, that was fun. Alrighty. That's a good cast. Could be death. Oh yeah, fish on it. Fish on it. Still on it, still on it, still on it. Oh my gosh, eat it. <laughs> I think that was a queenie. Definitely a bit quieter the further I drift down. Just go back up for one more drift through that top stretch because there seems to be like heaps of bait and stuff up there and that's where the current's hitting first as well. So right. we'll just have a few more casts and then might um, switch to the um, jigging setup and drop down to the bottom and see, see what we can catch down there. What in the world was that? I think it was pretty small. That's all right. We've peppered this zone pretty good with the top water, so might mix it up. Just scooting up, you can see we've got some fish on the bottom here, and coming up six or so meters. That's on the outside of the pylons, let alone what's in, in close. So, we might turn this off. What are they? Yeah, they're finny scad. Not very desirable species, but they're here, smash up the little bait. Grab this bad boy. Yeah, there's so many fish on the sound, holy. Absolutely stacked through there. So I've got my jigging set up here, P3. It's got a uh, 130mm jelly vibe. And what we're going to do, I'm just going to chuck that bad boy down there and hold on. We're on the bottom. Oh, already got hit. First drop. Kind of want to get it a bit closer to the structure here. Cast that up a bit. That should be a bit better. It's like about 18 meters deep or so here. Oh, just got eaten on the sink. 
It's not huge, but could be like something tasty maybe. We're lucky, unless it's a finny scout on the sink. That's a possibility. Um, yeah, finny scad. Ah, well, if you guys have never seen a finny scad, at least you get to have a bit of a look. Far from the target species, but we'll um, get back in there. Yep, straight away, just off the bottom. What is this? Oh, I think it might be another finny scout, man. Oh, what is that? Oh, 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 look at the shark. He bit me, Finny. Oh, it's a mackerel. What? <laughs> what is going on? Well, I had a spotted mackerel, and that little shark literally just bit him in half. Sorry, little man. That sucks. That's um, that's mother nature, though, at its finest. Wow. That is um, that is unfortunate for this little fella. He'd, he'd be undersized as well, so it's not like we can keep him and do anything with him. I've got to let him go by law. Mother Nature's cruel, man. Sorry, little fella. Shark's probably going to clean him up in about 10 seconds. She's, uh... Oh, that just got absolutely whacked. Oh, that probably would have been a mackerel because he bit me bloody tail off. It's not much of a curly vibe, it's got no curly, is it? It's just a just the vibe now. <laughs> oh well. Should still work. Alright, try again. That's a bit too scary that cast. Oh Jesus! That was a big, um, I think it was like a barred mackerel. It's like well over a metre long, that thing, jeez. This place is alive at the moment, man. And I'm just fishing the tiniest little stretch of it. Like there's so much still down that way. Oh, oh, on the one back up. Oh, what is this? Whoa! Holy hell, he's going ballistic! <laughs> oh. <laughs> I was just winding my vibe back up, man. Oh, what's he doing? Did that just come off? Oh, it just come off. No! That was a good queenie. <laughs> that was a good queen fish, man. Wow. <laughs> That's crack up. Oh, on the sink again. Of course the camera on my head just dies. Oh, I overheat one of the two. Oh. Just had to change batteries over in the camera, both the cameras, because they both keep overheating, but I may as well change my vibe while I'm at it. This is the packets the curly vibes are gonna come in when they get into stores. They're gonna be in apparently next month. Alright, try the um the white one here. There we go, that's a bit better. Alright, we'll drop this down. We might just start drifting along uh, along the edge here though. See what we can find. Yep, straight away. Oh, I oh, popped off, no. Oh, yep. Oh, come off again. I'm like going to drift, but like just getting hit every cast, so I'm like not moving. Huh. We'll cast this one up and then we'll start our drift. We'll just drift all the way along. Oh, that got... Yep. I was going to say, they got clunked so hard. 
either same fish or another fish has come back and hit it. This is big, man. It's gone away from the pylons, which is good. Oh, it was a weird fight. Might be a queenie. It was pretty close to the bottom. It doesn't mean too much. I should have already dragged this out away from the pylon, but I didn't. It's just sitting right under the boat. What's he doing? He's coming up. Oh no. Oh, it's a lovely little golden. That's sick. Must have been a school of them there. Really pretty fish. Such a pretty golden. Oh, that's epic. Probably should just net it, but I'm not going to. It's hooked pretty good. Got him. Yeah, cool. Whoa. Stunning. Beautiful little um, golden trevally there. Probably, if not up there with the prettiest in the trevally family. The yellow on the fins and the tail and those stripes across. Super cool. Obviously on the uh, 130 mil Kelly vibe there. That's sick. Stoked for that. Get the hooks out of this guy. Yeah. But yeah, I felt a clunk and then missed him and then instantly got another one. The thing with golden trevallies is they often school up in pretty sometimes sizable schools. So I assume there's a few more down there. I just got bitten off straight away. You are kidding. Oh no, I only had one of those colored vibes too. No, mackerel. Bit me clean off. Why couldn't he bite off the vibe without the tail, man? You're joking. I'll try this vibe without the tail again. Don't eat it, Mr. Mackerel. Just let, let the Goldens eat it. Surely. I'm just gonna cover some ground for now and... Yep. See what happens. <laughs> nah, this is small. Oh, it popped off. Got eaten. Got eaten on the sink. Oh, popped off. No. That back in there. Instantly. Inst oh, I just pulled hooks. Oh, another one ate it. No, he come off as well. Why did I put my thumb on the spool? Why did I do that? I, I just didn't need to do that. It's not like we we're on the pylons. Just ripped it straight out of his bloody mouth. I literally see a little GT right there. There's no way. Oh, Bowie, you shouldn't be doing this. You know better. You absolutely know better. But you're still going to do it. You're a madman. Oh, yep, there he goes. Oh, we're in so much trouble. We're in so much trouble if he goes for the pylons. Drag him out. I 
reckon he'll be good here. He's not that big. God, I thought he was going to go straight in there. <laughs> On the little P3 setup. Would have had no control of that, but luckily he's not too big. <laughs> yeah, he's just a baby. Cool though, super cool to see that. <laughs> so I should be able to just get him. Don't. There we go. Ow! Jesus! Why? Ah! That was just so unnecessary, mate. And of course, you flop all the way over to the net, and the hooks are going to be in the net, aren't they? Yeah, that is absolutely insane. Ow! Don't! Why? Why? There we go. It's obviously not the biggest GT in the world, but super cool. Just saw him just sitting in the car and in the pylons there. He was black as anything. He's fully changed colour now, but pitched that little stick bait in on P3 setup. Come out and smoked it. Thought I was done for sure, but. Luckily, he played the game and swam out of the pylons. Doesn't get much more fun than that, does it? That's sick. Whoa! Whoa! <laughs> well, I was gonna get an underwater release, but I think he had different plans. It's crazy that I fished legit, like, not even a 100 meter stretch of this jetty, and there's just so much life and action going on. We're nearly at the tide change, though, so I think things will change here, but for now, I'm gonna make the most of all the action. Yeah, I'm still seeing good fish and stuff on the sounder here, so I'm just I'm just kind of peppering this area. I don't need to rush anywhere. Don't need to leave fish to find fish, you know. I just got snipped. You're kidding. Barely even hit the bottom. Yep, gone. That is very rude. Well, at least it was the vibe with no tail on it and not a brand new one. Yeah, I've got two more. In my last two. So I'll, I'll throw this one for a bit. If we lose this one, I think I'll just save the other one for another day. We'll just throw something else. While the vibe's working really well now, I want to kind of stick with it. A little bit of a different colour this time, same lure. It's just got eaten on the sink. Oh my gosh, I just felt it peeling off. What is going on here? coming up real fast. Might be a queenie. He's trying to go to the pylons. What is he doing? He's carving. Oh, this is very bad. Oh. Need to try and drag him out. Looks like he's heading out on his own. Literally on the sink, man, that's cool. He's sending too. Big fish, man. Surprised he doesn't jump. He come up real fast, so I assume it's a queenie, but you never know. Probably is though, just hasn't jumped. Could be hooked awkward or just being a bit of a funny guy. Literally, that was just fully 100% on the sink. And. Was that a mackerel? Oh no, it's a queenie. Oh. Good queenie, man. There's another one right on him as well. Proper queenie. Thought it would have been. They just. They just fight so erratic. Not many fish like them. Where they go hard, the big ones too. There he is. Oh, he's long, man. Oh, I think I've hooked him under the chin. That's why. He's real. He's big, though, man. That's why I didn't jump though, because he's hooked under the chin. 
It's actually going to be a little bit, a little bit hard to land in like this. Because it's going to go ballistic on the surface. Oh my god! This is what I mean, I should have landed him. Alright. Ah. Stop it! Oh. Jesus! He's huge, man! Since that vibe's kind of pinned in the side here. And then he's got it at the back as here as well. And just on the plate. There we go. That's a solid queen. He's well over that meter mark. Absolute tank fish. Fought super hard. Don't want to kick him out of the water too long. So we'll get him back ASAP. It's uh, hot and sweaty work out here. Literally no wind, which is a very rare occurrence. And we're catching fish, so I'm having a bloody good time. Fellas on the other boat, just over here, just caught something as well. A couple high fives, so looks like the fishing's on, so we're gonna keep at it. I just saw my cameras drifting and then we've come over another huge stack of fish. Like a ridiculous amount. Sound of looking like out here. Yep, straight away. Oh, he's not bad. Oh, gotta keep him away from the pylons. These got me in the pylons. Ah! I just, I didn't try very hard then, but I think he was just already there. Oh no! No! Absolute bastard. We're gonna have to retie. Retie some leader there. That's very rude of him. Damn it. <laughs> it was bound to happen eventually. All right, just tied some new leader on. All right, I don't wanna use another vibe because that's my, that was my second last one. And I don't wanna waste my very last vibe because I might not be able to get them for a month. <clears throat> but, I can definitely throw a jig down there. I've got a few jigs to spare, so we can throw we can throw a fair few jigs. That's not an issue. I've just chucked on a 60 gram jig, and we're just gonna drop that down. See how that goes. Surely we're still catching fish. Oh, got hit! Got hit! That feels like a mackerel, though. Probable mackerel. There you go, just settle down. Oh, it's a little Spanish, I think. See you, bud. Get that back up there. Try and drift through here again. Yep. Straight away. I think this is another mackerel though, which is not good. We don't want him to bite off the hooks. Wouldn't mind a legal one though, for dinner, they're quite tasty. Whoa! Whoa! Oh my gosh! And yo! Yeah. Uh. See you, bud. Woo. Try to drop down again. It just seems like the mackerel really like this thing. Which is a bit unfortunate. 
Has that been eaten? Yeah. <laughs> I can't even get to the bottom with this thing. Feels different, this fish. But, oh, no, it might just be another mackerel. Yeah. Oh yeah, I just hooked him on top of the head. And see ya. Oh, see if we can get one drift through here, because we haven't really even got to play proper drift. Oh, we made it to the bottom, look at that. Oh, there's a school of queenies, or mackerel. I don't know what they were. Sizable though. Something's eating it. Something's eating it. Oh, he's big. He's in something. I can feel him rubbing. He's gonna try to respool and drive up. He's just running. Oh! I can just feel it rubbing on something, so it's probably gonna break off. Unless we can like pull him out this side maybe. Uh, I don't know where he's gone under. Or have I pulled him out? I feel it rubbing. It's rubbing on something. Oh, he's probably on just the base of that pylon. But he's moving a little bit. I just don't know what he's got into and how he's in there. Oh, it sucks, man. Oh, he just come out. No, he didn't. Thought he did for a sec. It's just rubbing all the way. He's slowly coming though. Just hope it doesn't get to a point where it just stops and breaks. Is it off? I can feel something weird going on. Still in something. Oh, just come off. Yeah, just broke off whatever was on it. I think. Yeah, that was very lucky. Oh, it's big golden. Big golden. That's sick. That was very lucky I could land him. Oh, well, I haven't landed him yet. No wonder he towed me up. He must have been wrapped around that pole somehow. Go, he's still fighting. Sick. What are you doing? Where's this spike come from? Why do you have to fight at the boat? Just a bit worried my line's damaged now so I can't go crazy hard on him. Don't you throw those hooks. Don't you do it. Don't. Stop it! Ah. There we go! Woo! Gotcha! Nearly got off. That's an absolutely beautiful gold rally on that jig. And we were very lucky to get him because he definitely had us in around that pylon a bit. I don't know exactly what he was on, but 
managed to pull him all the way through it. The line's pretty rasped up, but they fight so hard and they can just get you in the structure if they want to. And we really just got lucky to get him out. Cool though. Well, he didn't kick off super strong, but um, he ended up kicking off pretty pretty well. Watched him swim off. The water's super clean here, despite it being dirty everywhere else, which is good to see, which might be a part of the reason why it's fishing so well at the moment as well. It's only 10 o'clock, and we've done a lot. We've done a lot today. I think the wind's supposed to change at some point, but maybe like two hours, so we're just gonna try and make the most of it. Just absolutely bash the fish if we can. All right. Let's get it. Well, we know the jig works, we know the vibe works, we know the top water is working today. So I might try and mix it up again, throw something a little bit different down there, just for a bit of fun, just to see, just to see what happens. Might just try this bad boy now, it's so 150mm ultimate squid. I'll try and drop this down, see if we can kind of just hop that on the bottom, maybe catch a trout or, you know, something like that. Finger mark if we're super lucky. this at least he's gone away from the pylons but what the this might be a shark actually I don't know it was dead on the bottom, like I was hopping it right on the bottom. Actually, just don't know what this could be. Big run to start though. this thing man oh. wow that was this your first drop of the squid I don't know what that was that's pretty hectic Right, John. Could have got all the way to the pile ones over there, to be honest. Ah! Well, there goes my squid. Instead of retying leader and re rigging up a new squid, I'll just go back to the jig for a little bit. It's no stress. That fish was massive, though, whatever it was. Just keep covering ground. I'll push up in here now and go along. Really, any run in here though? I might just go to the other side and see the run out here. That could be very scary. Yep. Yep. Oh, come on. Nah, get away from the bottom there. Oh, he wants to go in. No. Come on up! Come on! Come on! Is this going to be something tasty? Feels like it could be. Or maybe not. <laughs> it's a baby GT.
heaps of bait on the front of this one. I'm sure there's some fish underneath. It's queenie right there. Or is that a Spanish? Yeah, it's, I literally, it's a Spanish right there. I just saw it. Alright, it's getting a bit quieter the further down I go, so I might just scoop back up to the top where there's a bit more action going on. Alright, just moved back up to the top where we started first thing this morning. And it's quite interesting because the tide the tide's changed but it's still pushing into this front side which is quite interesting because really it should be running the opposite direction i'll just drop this jig up in here see if there's still some fish hanging around we've probably only got another hour or so before that wind kicks up it's supposed to be around lunchtime, which is very shortly and i want to get out of here before that happens otherwise we'll have a very ugly run home Another hit. Yep. Oh, oh no. He's on, he's already on the pylon. I got a free spool. He's already on the pylon. Shit. Stop running. Stop running, you're not hooked. Stop running, you're not hooked. No. No, just break. Ah! Ah! I mean. He was just instantly on the pylon. I must have been so close. Oh, well. <laughs> I guess I'll tie some more leader on. Bloody hell. Alright, new leader, new jig. And straight back into the action. Hopefully. Oh. Yep. So small. I oh, know. Just absolute micro. works out. It's the smallest mackerel I've ever seen. Whoa! Dear. Yep. This feels like another mackerel unfortunately. Oh, he's much better. He's probably going to be legal man. Alright. Stunning. It's not actually a bad mackerel. Might check him on the brag mat. Just to see if he's legal, which he should be. Alright. Holy shit, it took my head off. Okay, cool. 70... 76. Okay, well that's legal either way. That's stunning. Lovely little mackerel there, and at, looking at him, he's I'm um, pretty sure he's a grey mackerel, and 76 centimetres, so he's definitely over legal size. So he's going to be lovely dinner for us. Pretty happy about that. Well, he's um, he's throwing blood absolutely everywhere. Have a look, a jersey, all over the console. Just absolutely everywhere you look is blood. Um, look at my chair, man. Oh, big clean up job for Bowley. Well, after a legit like 20 plus minutes of scrubbing the boat, cleaned off majority of the blood. So we're gonna have a few more drops before we get out of here. Probably won't get the chance to come back out here for a long time with the way the wind's been, so may as well make the most of it. That wind is picking up now though, so we will just have a couple more drops. So this is another mackerel. Just so many of them. Yeah. It's a little guy again. Yeah. Oh. Hooks out. Fish 
is flapping crazy. See you, bud. Yep. That's a bit better. Pull them back. Oh. What's going on here? Maybe, maybe it's not a bit better. Oh, there's too many of these things. I don't want to keep boring you guys with this. But all right, well, that wind is really starting to kick in. I don't want to be stuck out here when it's blowing its absolute ass off. So, we are going to get the hell out of here. It's been a bloody epic day though, for what hasn't even been five hours of fishing. Can't complain.